Wake of the Gulf oil spill, we've talked a lot about the drilling moratorium. Here's a story about what the industry calls a de facto moratorium in shallow water. Lizzie O'Leary is in New Orleans with the details. Lizzie. So the major moratorium applies only to deep water drilling, but this is in shallower water, and the industry says they're having significant permitting issues, actually getting new permits issued for shallower water drilling. So we went to a place called the Rig Graveyard, and this is off Cameron, Louisiana. It's the western part of the state, and this is a place where particularly shallow water rigs come and park for service. They idle there for a while, and you can see huge groups of rigs. At this point, probably about 15, 20 of them. A lot of these are there before the drilling moratorium was put in place, but the permitting issues have made it harder for these rigs to go back out into the water where they would be drilling. A lot of them owned by Hercules, the largest shallow water driller. There was a meeting in Washington. Hercules General Counsel described what they want from the administration. What we really need to see is the administration issue permits for the shallow waters. Uh, there is no moratorium in effect, uh, but there is, uh, uh, if, you ask our, if you ask our workers, they don't have work to do. Uh, we have rigs going idle. Uh, and we could dismantle the industry in the shallow waters by the end of August. Uh, 27 of those 50 rigs could have no work to do. Now, the Interior Department says nine shallow water permits uh, have been pen have held pending until these new regulations have put into place, until they can figure out how drillers would deal with the blowout scenario. They say 17 of 36 permits have gone forward, but you certainly have some pushback from the drilling industry here, not just in the deep water rigs, but in these shallow water rigs, which populate the Gulf Coast up and down, really, from Texas all the way to just off Alabama, guys.